hello, a great big, enormous, huge hello to all our ELC kids and a happy new year Woo! to all of you. Last time we spoke, it was 2020 and now we are moving forward into 2021 with the old year behind us and a new one to come. What memories have you got of 2020? I've been looking back at some of my photos on my phone. I've got some great memories and some that aren't so good that I'd rather forget. What about your memories of Christmas? Did you have some great presents? Perhaps you could type into the chat what was brilliant, what you really enjoyed. What was your best present? But sometimes we have disappointing presents, things that are a bit of a letdown. But you know what? No matter what, we can put everything behind us now and look forward. And as we look forward into the new year, we don't know what it's going to hold. There are some things that I know, like I know it's going to be my birthday on the 3rd of July. I know it's going to be Easter at the 4th of April. But each day, we don't know what's going to happen. But you know what? I know someone that knows exactly everything that's going to happen in the year ahead. And we are going to learn today about that person and it's Jesus. So shall we just pray together? Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for the year that has just gone. No matter what it hold, held, the good and the bad, you were there walking through it with us. And I thank you that we can look forward to the year ahead and know that you know everything that's going to happen and you can just help us and be there with us. As we learn today, help us to know more about what you're like and how much you love us. Amen.
we're not actually going to have a story. It's more of a bit of a picture and a description of what God is like. And we're going to read it from a book in the Bible called Psalms, which is actually made up of songs. And I'm going to read this Psalm, Psalm 23 to you. But don't worry, I am not going to sing it. I'm just going to read it. And it starts off with the first five words that say, the Lord is my shepherd. And it sounds a bit str strange because we think, well, if the Lord's my shepherd, does that mean we're sheep? Well, what it means is we're sort of like sheep. And the man that wrote this, whose name was David, when we first read of him as a boy, he was actually a shepherd. So, he was able to write about God and about us in that sort of picture of shepherds and sheep. So what I want you to do is I'm going to read this Psalm 23 to us. But I know children are really good at using their imaginations. So get a comfortable spot, whether you're sitting down or lying on the sofa or the floor. Close your eyes and I want you to imagine that you are a sheep in a field of grass. So that's where we start in our imaginations. You're in a field and Jesus is a shepherd. And as I read this to you, see what pictures come into your mind. Are you ready? Here we go. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in fields of green grass and leads me to quiet pools of fresh water. He gives me new strength. He guides me in the right paths as he has promised. And even though I go through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid. Lord, for you are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff protect me. You prepare a banquet for me where all my enemies can see me. You welcome me as an honoured guest and fill my cup to the brim. I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my life. And your house will be my home as long as I live. Amen. <laughs> I wonder what pictures came into your mind as I was reading that. And did you start to understand what it meant, this picture of a shepherd that looks after his sheep, just like Jesus wants to look after us? Do you know what? I've got a little video I want you to watch now. It's just going to help explain some of what that means. So stay sitting comfortably and watch this video. Bible chapters for kids. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my loving shepherd, he gives me what I need. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He blesses me with a place to rest. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He gives me peace. He restoreth my soul. He gives strength to my spirit. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. He helps me do what is right so that others will see how good the Lord is. Yea, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. So even when things look dark and scary. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. I will not be afraid, because God is with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. He protects me and brings me comfort. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He blesses me even in front of those who don't like me. Thou 
anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. God welcomes me with his love. I overflow with his blessings. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. His goodness and love will always be there for me. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I will live with him forever here and in heaven. Wow. What great things we've learned from that. Just like a shepherd, Jesus knows each one of his sheep individually. He knows you and he knows me and he loves us and he knows what we need. He knows when we're tired. He knows if we're afraid. He knows if we've got big decisions to make and we don't know what to do. He knows how we feel and he loves us so much that just like a good shepherd, we can trust him. We can trust him to guide us. We can trust him to help us to know what to do. We can trust him to provide for us everything we need. And when will, we, when, will he, when will he do that? He will do that every second of every minute of every day, every week, every month, for the whole year and every year after. All we have to do is to stay close to him and him to us. How wonderful is that? So in this year ahead, let's all just trust God to take care of us. Today, 
There's only three actions that you need to remember for the game. It's jumping, hopping, and running. So uh, jumping, let's do jumping. Okay, running, let's do run. And hopping is like this. Okay, so when I say go, you've got to either run, jump, or hop. And I'm gonna put these behind my back and then if I choose the one that you're doing, running, say for instance, then that means you're out. Okay, so you can either run, jump or hop. Okay, so you, you know what to do? Is everybody ready at home? Okay, so go then run, jump or hop. Which one do you want to do? Go on, just do one. Oh, she's jumping. Okay, so here we go. Are you, are you doing one at home? Okay, so if you're jumping, you're out, okay? So Archie's jumping, so you have to sit down. Sit down now. Right, so Archie's out. Okay, so go. Run, jump or hop. What are you gonna do? Go on. Okay, you already at home, are you all doing a run, jump or a hop? Okay, running, oh, so you're still in, Elliot. So uh, anybody who's running at home, you are out. Okay, let's go again. Run, jump or hop. Come. Run, jump or hop. Okay, what we're gonna get now. Oh, running again. Okay, oh no, you're out, Elliot. So if you were running at home as well, you're out. Do you have another go? You two stand up. Okay, so run, jump or hop, go. So, oh, you're both running. I'm actually hopping. Okay, oh, what we got now? Oh, jumping. So, you're jumping if you're out. So, you're hopping. I don't know what you were doing, Archie. Okay, what are you doing? Do you know what so, if you were jumping, then I, you were out. I was jumping, I was hopping. Okay, so go. And then, next one, then go. Okay, you're running, aren't you? Me too. Doink. Oh, running. I keep picking running. Okay, so if you're running, you're out. Okay, next round. Whoa. Go, so you're out, Elliot. Next Whoa. round, go. Whoa. And. Not on my nose. Jumping. So if you were jumping, you're out. No, Archie. Okay, you two back in. Another go. So everybody back in. If you were out, we're going to have one more go. Go on then. Run, jump, or hop. What are you going to do? Are you ready, home? Go. Okay, Elliot's hopping. Archie's running, I think. Okay, hopping. Oh, no, you're out, Elliot. So if you were hopping at home, you are out. Do we have one more go? Are you too tired? Is everybody tired at home? One more go. You can go to the toilet in a minute. Let's, uh... Okay, then, go on. Elliot needs the toilet. So, run, jump, or hop. Go. Okay, you ready at home doing run, jump, or hop? And running. Oh, you're out, Archie. So if you were running at home, you're out. So well done if you're still in. Um, and we're going to go on to the next activity. So see you all soon, guys. Hi, everyone. This week we've been learning about the 24th Psalm, how God is like a shepherd to us. He looks after us, provides for all our needs and keeps us safe. So we're a bit like a sheep. So today we're going to make a sheep. This is one we've made before and this is what you need to make one. A toilet roll holder with four holes cut in. Ask your parents to do it with a pair of scissors or a skewer. You could also use four cotton buds with the tips cut off. 10 cotton wool balls with some glue and you can draw a sheep's face as well. You could draw the eyes on or you could add Google eyes if you have them at home. So let's make a start. We've got the four holes in it. So the cotton wool, cotton wool buds become the sheep's legs. You poke them in the holes. And stand the sheep up. Well, sometimes the sheep's got wobbly legs. 
and then we add the cotton wool balls. Stick them all over the sheep's body. Nice and fluffy they are. So now the sheep's body is covered up with cotton wool. We put one in the back and one in the front with a bit of extra glue. And then we can stick on the sheep's face as well. So there we have a sheep. Remember that God is our shepherd and keeps us safe and we can depend on him. enjoyed today's session on psalm 23 as we have learned the lord is our shepherd and he leads us let's take some time to reflect on this great truth let's sit with god and be quiet for a moment i know it can be awkward when we be quiet but i'm just going to give us time to listen and hear what god has to say to us about today's psalm 23 and how he can help us in the situations that we're in so i'm just going to take a few moments just to be peaceful and listen to what God's got to say.
Now let's think about how much he cares for us. Think of a time that you known that God's been with you or been with your family, um, a situation where he's protected you. I can think of many times where he's protected me from many things. The first one that comes to mind is when I got run over by a bus and survived and walked. It was, God protected me so much at that time. Another thing that we're going to think about is with God, we don't need to be afraid. 2 Timothy 1.7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love and sound mind. We do not need to fear as God is always with us and we can always trust him. I want us to just think about three things today that you can thank God for. I want to thank God for his love, for the, being able to spend time with him and for my friends. And let's pray. Father God, I thank you for the time that I get to spend with you. I thank you for your love and I thank you for my friends. I pray for everybody who's watching this today. I pray that Psalm 23 will uphold them, that each and every child will know that you care for them, that you love them, that you surround them and protect them each and every day father god let this psalm be known to the children and let it be something that they can return to something that can help them in this current situation something that can help strengthen them and know that you are with them i pray that it'll help that take away fear fear of coronavirus fear of the book fear of school fear of anxiety almighty god i just pray that instead of being fearful they can turn to this psalm and know that you are there to be with them uphold them and strengthen them in your mighty name i pray amen